Mrs. Courtney. Miss. So sorry. I'm Roger Kenyon from the Education Authority. Oh. Oh, they told me they were sending an inspector round, but I really didn't expect... He would be black. He would be so young. My apologies. <laughs> but the authority likes to check that the standards of the evening classes are up to par. I can assure you that my standards here are well over par. I'm glad to hear it. Well, Mr Kenyon, if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you round. No, 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 please. I'd rather just wander around on my own, if you don't mind. I usually get a much clearer picture that way. <laughs> Wait, Everything all right? Everything's okay. Good. We have agreed to differ. Ah, right. Excuse me, please. Ah, our new African. Pardon? Yeah, I've been expecting you. Me? Yes, I was told I'd have a new pupil. Look, it's nearly time for our tea break, so why don't you just go to the back for a minute and I'll take your particulars later. But please, you... Be a good chap and don't argue. Just go and sit there, right? Yes, but... Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Me. Good happening. Okay. Ten, ten P. Oi. So oh, I'll, I'll pay for that and a coffee for me, please. And a coffee for you. Thank you. Are you Mr. Brown? Yes. Oh, I've got a message for you. For her ladyship. Oh, lady who? Uh, Miss Courtney. She's been in here and she wants to see you. Yeah, I know what she does want. Yes, Mr. Brown. Uh, <laughs> uh, you want to see me? In my office, immediately. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Uh, careful, that's coffee. You'll spill it. Por favor. That's coffee. Gracias. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Same again, please. Oh, nothing, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Thank you, love. Packet the biscuits, please. Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't any left. <laughs> oh, good, good. You've uh, come to have a cup of coffee. Coffee? <laughs> yes, coffee, this stuff. Thank you. <laughs> right, class, now settle down, please. Quiet. Now, the first thing we have to do before we do anything else is to call the register. So sorry. Right? Ah, that's quite all right. I expect you'll uh, have a bit of difficulty finding your way round at first. Things will seem rather strange. Yes, yeah, very strange. Yes. Must yeah. be quite a change coming from one of the underdeveloped countries to our more advanced way of life. <laughs> oh, yes. Still, your people are doing remarkably well. Did, did you fly here? Fly? <laughs> How do you mean, Buana? <laughs> oh, fly in a big iron bird. <laughs> Quite a change from riding an elephant. <laughs> Unless you came by jumbo. <laughs> English joke. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> well, perhaps you'd better sit down. Right? Right, I'm going to call out to... You have been committing some grievous misdemeanor. <laughs> Not at all. There's an inspector from the local education authority coming round. Yeah, the bigger boss. Yes, I suppose you could say that, but from my experience, they're usually interfering old fogies. <laughs> You don't like them? Not particularly. Frankly, they're quite useless and about as outdated as their teaching methods. I mean, what's the point of learning past participles, cognate objects or subordinate clauses? It's far more useful than trying to teach a foreign student how to uh, order a meal or find accommodation. You appear to have some rather unique ideas. Oh, I suppose I have. You know, you speak English fairly well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is your name? Roger Kenyon. Roger Kenyon. Ah, Miss Courtney, I'm just uh, completing the register and getting the details of our new student before that inspector chappy helps his nose in. Mr. Brown. I shan't be a moment, Miss Courtney. What is your job? Inspector. Oh. What, local transport? <laughs> local education authority. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he was the new student. The new student is a female. Is she? Well, you didn't tell me that. Oh, my apologies, Mr. Kenyon, and I do assure you that Mr. Brown will be severely dealt with. <laughs> I can't remember when I last enjoyed myself so much. I beg your pardon? Enjoyed yourself? You know, Miss Courtney, your Mr. Brown is a remarkable man. 
I am. He is? Yes. His teaching methods may be somewhat revolutionary, but they appear to work. I have always encouraged my staff to be forward thinking. <laughs> well, I'll pass on your comments to the authority. Perhaps they revise their textbooks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must put in an appearance at the other classes. Oh, well, uh, keep up the good work, Mr. Brown. And thank you very much for the coffee. <laughs> I'll come with you, Mr. Kenyon. Blimey! You are dropping a clinker. <laughs> you mean clanger. Yes, please. Yes, well. All right, let's continue with our lesson. Uh, get out your textbooks. I'm going to give you all a few exercises. Uh, excuse me, Professor, sir. I can't do any exercises. Why not? I've got a bad back. <laughs> excuse me, I was looking for a... Ah, at last. A pity you didn't arrive half an hour earlier. Why? You might have saved me a great deal of embarrassment with a certain African gentleman. Oh. Yes, he was a school's inspector, but I mistook him for you. You thought a gentleman was me? Yeah. <laughs> The silly fool tried to pretend he was a student and sit at the back to try to catch me out, but I saw through him. I gather you think he was a bit stupid. Oh, definitely. Thick as a brush. What's his name, Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Do you know him? Uh, I should do. I've come to collect him. Ah. I am his wife. <laughs> oh, blimey, yes! You have dropped another clinker! <laughs>